Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2016. As you can see, we have two variables in the same equation. Under normal circumstances, we may need two equations in order to solve for these variables. But unfortunately, we have only one equation. So we will analyze this problem to find them. But before we begin, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. So let's analyze the problem. As you can see, we have 2016 over here. This is a positive number, meaning that it is greater than zero. So if 2016 is greater than zero, then let's consider the left-hand side over here. So this means that two to the power n is greater than two to the power n. Okay, the bases are the same, so it means that m is greater than n. Do you agree? All right. So here we can say that m is greater than n. Now, under what instance can we make m equal to n? Well, we can say that m is equal to n when we add a certain variable, say k, to n. Or n will be equal to m when a certain constant, say k, is subtracted from m. Do you agree? But we will focus on this one. Okay, so now we have m is equal to n plus k. So in place of m, I'm going to put n plus k in this equation. So we have 2 to the power n plus k minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2016. All right. So here, if you have a to the power x times a to the power y, this could be written as a to the power x plus y. So we have 2 to the power n times 2 to the power k minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2016. All right. Now let's express 2016 in a form that we will get 2 to the power, let's say, d in a. Okay. So 2016 is the same as 32 times 63. And 32 is 2 to the power 5 then times 63. So we can express 2016 in the form of this. So in place of 2016, we will put this one there. So we have 2 to the power n times 2 to the power k minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 5 times 63. All right. So here we have 2 to the power n here and then 2 to the power n. So we can factor 2 to the power n out. So we have 2 to the power n into 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power 5 times 63. All right. Now let's consider this. 2 to the power n here is an even. Okay. So example, when 2 is raised to a fourth power, this is equal to 16, where 16 is an even number. Then, let's consider this one. 2 to the power k is also an even number, but when you take 1 from it, the whole of this one becomes an odd number. Okay? Now, let's consider this side. 2 to the power 5 is also an even number. All right? Then, 63, as you all know, is an odd number. All right, so now let's compare even to even and then odd to odd. Now we have 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 5. And then 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to 63. All right, so now let's find this. 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 5. The bases are the same, so we can equate the exponent. So this means that n is equal to 5. Now let's focus on this equation. From here we can say that 2 to the power k is equal to 63 plus 1. Alright, so we have 2 to the power k is equal to 64. Now we have 2 to the power k is equal to 64 could be written as 2 to the power 6. Alright, now since the bases are the same, we can easily equate the exponent. So we have k 
is equal to 6. Now we know that n is equal to 5, k is equal to 6, but we don't know m. All right. So now let's find m. We know that m from here is equal to n plus k. So we can say that m is equal to n where n is 5, then plus k where k is 6, and this is equal to 11. So therefore we can say that m is equal to 11. All right, so now we know that m is equal to 11 and then n is equal to 5. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.